a very warm welcome to all of you. Today in this video we're going to discuss about our literary term which is internal rhyme. In the poetry, internal rhyme is the use of rhyming words in the same line or rhyming words in the middle of the lines. Internal rhyme is the opposite of end rhyme which involves rhyming words at the end of successive lines. So, internal rhyme have three variations. The first one is two or more rhyming words in the same line. For example, it would be good to have a hood in this weather. Now, the second variation. Rhyming words that appear in the middle of successive line. For example, I felt sad thinking of the day that my dad left for the world. Now, the third variation is a word at the end of a line that rhymes with the word in the middle of successive line. For example, in the end, what does it matter? It's all chatter, the things they say. Rhyme. Now, in short, we can say that rhyme between a word within a line and another either at the end of the same line or within a, another line, it's called an internal rhyme. So, it's maybe a give a pleasure itself, pointing up the rhythmatical structure or breaking along into shorter lines and shorter units, we can say that. So, this is the all internal rhyme. So, let's take an example to understand in more detail. There is a fun to be done. There is a glue in my shoe. I'm in a heaven with Kevin. Uh, more examples. I could spend hours walking in the flowers. The story is old and many times told. Nibbling like a mouse, someone's nibbling at my house. So, our last example from the rhyme of the ancient mariner. In the mist or cloud, on the must or shout, all wheels all the night through the folk smoke white. So, this is all internal rhyme. I hope you will understand well and thank you.